My name is Kyle Evans. I graduated in 2002 with a major in industrial design, and that was focused in transportation automotive. Most people were like myself. I thought in order to be a car designer, I'd have to go into engineering school. I said, oh, no, you don't go to engineering school. There's, you know, you got to go to CCS. So I booked a flight and came up and checked it out. And I saw the school and I saw the models that they were making and I saw the drawings that they were doing. I was like, I have to do this. I'm in the Jeep studio at the moment and I get to work on, and I'm a Jeep buff, so it works really well with me. I get to design the things that I like to use. It's really great. Like we live, breathe, eat Jeep. In a couple of weeks, we're gonna go on this thing called the Easter Safari, a Jeep Safari, and it's out in Moab, Utah. So they take the designers and we can go out and climb rocks and we get to kind of figure out and feel what the car's all about. Car designers are kind of, we're really responsible for um, the first impression that someone gets out of a vehicle. The first, very first impression you ever get, no one blindfolds you and sticks you inside of a car. It's that first like visual impact is what we do. And there's a lot of passion involved in it. So about three years after I graduated, I started teaching the transportation design class. It's one of the biggest joys of my life is to go down there and work with the students because I know exactly what they're going through. I know exactly how they feel. And I'm one of those guys that's working in the industry that sees a lot of new things and they inspire me. When you're going to CCS and you're allowed to express yourself and you're allowed to basically make moving sculpture. And that's the thing that I really get excited about. You know, I, I really, really enjoy all aspects of design. Instead of flipping through a catalog to find the furniture that I like, I'd much rather think about it and like think about how I would use it and build it myself. I've always wanted a house where I could park a car in the living room. It's just been a dream of mine since I was a kid. So in 2005, my partner and I decided that we wanted to move into an industrial space. And we bought what was once a heating and cooling building. So we basically gutted the building and put in all of our own finishes and all of our own furniture and everything that we wanted to design. And we designed everything from the kitchen counters and cabinets to the duct work in the house to we have a jet engine sink on the first floor. We also have this kind of automotive theme running through the house. So it's kind of runs in parallel to my interests in design. It's real open and so we can, we can host parties and have a lot of big social events here. So I think it's like that the house has really allowed me to, to kind of express myself outside of work and, and really showcase what I'm interested in. When someone can say, that car is beautiful, that's really cool to me. You know, and, and that's what I like to teach and that's what I like to have the opportunity to create.